I haven't used my Quest 2 in so long that it's developed stick drift on both controllers. So this is probably going to be quite a short video. I want it to be a short video anyway. But yeah, I haven't even played this thing. It's been sitting on a shelf in the charging dock. Why would it develop stick drift by just sitting there? I think it's some kind of form of protest because I have the Quest 3 now, which I totally get. Like, it's kind of sad, you know? This bit of tech that I love so much and used so much now just sits there doing nothing. Um, <laughs> in today's video, I just want to show you a little slice of Asgard's Wrath 2 gameplay running natively on the Quest 2. Because I've seen a lot of people in the comments kind of asking how does it run on Quest 2, does it run well, does it perform well? Because there is still a huge install base of Quest 2 users. Not everyone has run out to buy the fanciest new headset on the market, the Quest 3. And I totally get that. Are you going to follow me? Why were you waiting over there? Jeebus. Can I turn you back into a person, please? Yeah. You're a bit more uh, subservient when you're a person. Can we do a high five? Can, can we do... <laughs> Oh, you're waving! Okay, we're waving at each other. So yeah, I know not everyone has a Quest 3. I know there's still a huge install base of Quest 2, and people are curious how this game's going to run. It's a massive game. It takes up about 32 gigabytes of storage space, which is actually really, really impressive for the size and scope of the game, and for how good it looks. Um, but the game itself, content-wise, is huge. Huge, huge, huge game. Massive open world sections like where I am now. There's a full roguelike mode which is built into the game. It's got a full story mode that could take upwards of 100 hours. I travel to destroy a god. If another chooses okay. to join me, I have no quarrel. Fantastic voice acting. Uh, that's in there as well. Great music, great combat. Lots of massive positives in this huge new quest exclusive. Now my first impressions are this is running exceptionally well. I will get into some combat just to kind of test that because that's going to be where things get a little bit ropey I imagine. Um, but no, it's running really well and it looks very good. That um, step down in terms of resolution from the Quest 3 is immediately noticeable for me because that's where I've been playing this game. Um, what is that rumbling? What is the rumbling? Well, that was scary. It felt like the world was ending. So yeah, I've been playing on Quest 3 primarily, so I can see that step down in terms of resolution. But if the Quest 2 was your only platform and this is where you were going to play the game, you would be blown away by how good this looks. You'd have nothing to compare it against in terms of, you know, I've played it on a higher resolution system. And if this was all you knew, you would be very impressed. It's very good. Now you might see in the video some kind of stutter as I'm moving forward, like my character kind of stops and then goes again. That is the stick drift. That isn't performance on the Quest 2. I just felt it then. Um, that is this new stick drift that my Quest 2 has developed. Oh no, it's the demon. Forgot about that guy. Another lumbering guard. How's it going? I literally just want to fight some people. Can I not? Okay, there's going to be no people in there. Right, we're going to have to find some enemies to fight. Find a monster cave somewhere. Right, bees will do. Let's fight the bees. Or wasps. They look like wasps more than anything. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. No fighting. Oh my god, I didn't realise she fights when she's in, like, panther form. I just threw my axe right at her face. I mean, this isn't the most taxing bit of combat. But as you can see... It's running. Oh! Disgusting. It's running perfectly. Not quite as smooth as Quest 3. But that is to be expected. That additional power on there. But I'm not feeling any kind of like dropped frames or anything. Right, break this. Break it. Break it. Break it. There we go. None of that. Yeah, look. Monster Den. I'm going to go in there. You're going to come with me as well, to be fair, because I need the support. Oh my god, look at that! I was taking a bath. Look at this guy! Oh, he's amazing. He's so adorable. There's this strange thing inside me that says stab him. And I'm not going to. Oh, I want to hit him on the, sh on, on, the, on the shell to see if it hurts him. Oh no, he's dead! <laughs> Is he dead? No, I think he's okay. Can I flip him? Oh, no, no, he's dead! 
did. I killed him. I didn't mean to kill him. Oh, no. I feel immediately bad. I love tortoises. I didn't want to murder him. Oh, bugger. Right, let's go to this monster cave. What we got in here? Oh, my God, alligators. Oh, I'm finding stuff that I don't like. This is terrifying. <laughs> ah! What is going on? Okay, this is nuts. Oh, my God. Good lord! Ah! <laughs> no. I'm going to die. I am going to die. <laughs> Run. Run away. Run. Is, is my friend dead? Oh my god, my friend's dead. This is the worst place. Why have I come here? No! Just axe them. Just axe them. Axe them until they're dead. How much health do these things have? Clearly lots. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, this is terrifying. I don't need it. No! Give me some power! Yes! Take this! Okay, these got loads of health, clearly. My god! I'm I'm not getting out of here alive. Okay, yeah, I died. Right, that's not a good place to go. So one thing to bear in mind when you're watching this video, um, I'm actually only capturing this at 30 FPS. All my Quest 3 videos, or at least the recent ones, have been capturing at 60 FPS. Now I didn't want to push the Quest 2 too hard and impact the performance of the game trying to get a better capture. So if you look at this video and think it doesn't look quite as smooth as his Quest 3 videos did, that's something to take into consideration. Um, Hello, bees. Can I kill you off the back of here? Because you're such a... Just a bit of a nuisance more than anything. There we go. I like that. You can fight on the back of... I think it's Sabira. Oh, I've jumped off. Oh, I've jumped off. That's fine. Get back on. There we go. Um, but yeah, no, look at it. It's running beautifully. If you are a Quest 2 owner and you've been thinking about picking this up but maybe you wanted to see some gameplay hopefully i'm not going to fight them i'm not going to do it hopefully this helps to kind of calm your your nerves about how well the game runs oh i hate the snakes i have to fight it oh no it's coming through the ground no no oh i hate them oh oh i killed it so quickly look at look at that look at that wicked take this yeah okay those snakes really kind of sucked they weren't strong at all Stupid idiot snakes. Down we go. Down we go. I mean, is like traversal and stuff just as slick in here? Yeah, it feels. The same. I mean, it feels the same to play. It just doesn't look quite as crisp um, because the resolution obviously isn't as high on the Quest Two. Um, but it still looks visually impressive. I would say it's not as vibrant on the Quest Two as well. But the thing I'm really looking at is performance, and it's running very, very well. Let's kill these dudes. These guys have got little green bands on. Why? Hello, mate. How's it going? <laughs> He's so dead. Don't... Oh, that really sucked. Where's he gone? Oh, what was that about? Ah, get that. Whoa. We leveled up. Yeah, raw. Can I give you, like, some health? Um, nah. Oh, you want a fist bump? Yeah. Right. Get that one. I'll get this one. Come on. Take that, you knobber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't headbutt me, idiot. Get this. Yes. He's well dead. Come on. Oh, too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. Come on, come on. There we go, it's better. Oh no, it's kicking off. Heal, heal, heal. Oh no, she's bloody killed my friend. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die! <laughs> oh, I was gonna check out the cave and everything. You bastard. Even here with the giant witches. It looks amazing and it's running really well. I think the thing I can notice the most, the biggest difference is characters and objects that are a little bit further away so where this character is right now they look a little bit less defined a little bit more shimmery around the edges a little bit low quality texture low resolution but if that is the trade-off and then they still look really bloody good when you get up close i don't think anyone's going to be complaining 
Give me a rift to go in. I just need to fight someone as I sum up my thoughts. Come on. Oh. Oh, do you still get... Yeah, you still get your... Ugh, you still get your little uh, <laughs> reflection. It's all here. It's the same game. Um, just running on the lower power hardware. Here we go. Let's kill a couple of enemies in here. And then we will... Sum things up. We're going to start summing things up now because I don't want this to be a long video. Look, if you've got a Quest 2, you haven't invested in a Quest 3, maybe you're not interested in picking up a Quest 3. And you've seen all these people talking about Asgard's Wrath 2 and it's being promoted as a Quest 3 game. Worry not. It will run on your Quest 2 and it will run very, very well. Now, I am recording at the same time and I am noticing occasional hitches, little kind of loading spikes, but it's nothing untoward. Nothing I haven't seen on Quest 3 when I've been playing this game, to be honest. And that's probably the most ah, impressive thing about this, is that it's running not as well as the Quest 3, I would say, but very, very good. And the differences are minimal. Ah, come on. Again, Meta are marketing this as, like, their big Quest 3 game, and I get that. Makes a lot of sense. It is, I would say, a system seller, especially if you like big open-world RPGs and story-heavy action adventures. No. Oh, bugger, he got me. Oh, come on. There we go, his head's gone. Oh, whip, whip time. But, I mean, look at this. It's just running beautifully here. I would recommend this comfortably to anyone who has a Quest 2. Um, yeah, it's it's phenomenal stuff, to be honest. Can I have that, please? Uh, how do I... Uh, uh, how do I... Why would you... Why would you put that there? Oh, I've got it. That's alright, then. Honestly, going into this Christmas period, I was worried that Assassin's Creed Nexus and this wouldn't really run on the Quest 2, um, Meteorites from a fallen world. and that platform would start to miss out on some of the biggest hitters that Meta have in their arsenal. But having played this now, <laughs> yeah, those worries were unsubstantiated. I'm very, very impressed with this. Right, I'm going to leave it here. This has been Asgard's Wrath 2 running natively on the Quest 2. And hopefully, as you can see from this video, it's a really impressive showcase for what these devs have managed to squeeze out of some pretty old hardware. Um, I am stunned at what they've managed to do here. Ooh. Hell yeah. Whip him down. That'll do. And then shoot this back. And then finish him off. Bah, bah. Don't headbutt me. Don't headbutt me twice. Now you've lost your arm. Ooh, bloody hell. Slam him down. Finish him off. Amazing. Hope you've enjoyed, everyone. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe. And I will see you soon for another one. Take care. This is wizardry. This is absolute wizardry. I am blown away. Fair play to Sanzaru Games. Amazing stuff. Take care.